So what actually is a single page application? Well, as the name implies, you only load one page or one website and then you stay at this single page the whole time you're working with the data given by this website. Well, actually this is not exactly true for most of the web applications you can access through your browser. Usually you enter the URL in the address bar, a page loads and this is at first a landing page or a login page. So you have to log into your user account and only then you can access and manipulate all the data you have created without reloading another page or the current page. So after logging in, you stay on the single page of the web application. No other page will be loaded further on. Now this provides a more fluid user experience similar to a desktop application and usually it works much much faster because you just load a small part of the page instead of the whole thing. So you might even change the context of the website you're currently viewing. Let's say you're currently viewing a contact of our CRM we will build and now you want to switch to a map of the contact address. You can easily do this with a spa, again without reloading the whole page. But let me tell you how this whole thing actually works. So the websites you're seeing in your browser are usually HTML or XML documents. A part of an HTML page may look like this one. So you see a table here, nothing fancy, and there you see the corresponding HTML code. The code of these markup languages, HTML and XML, is always organized in a tree structure. So the table you're seeing here could also be displayed like this. Now you see the whole tree of the table and the table tag is the first node or the root node. Then you see the header of the table, a body, the table cells with the actual text in them and so on. Now all these little parts are described as objects. There is even a convention how to represent and interact with these objects. It's called the document object model or in short the DOM. You might have even heard of it. Now the tree you see here can also be called a DOM tree. And now the single page application, the only thing it does is it manipulates the objects of this DOM tree without reloading the page. Let's try this in action. So we have our table here and two buttons which will actually change the appearance of the table. Peter Parker, maybe you know him, has a hero name or hero title and I want to see it in the table. Now one button will do this the spa way and the other one won't. Pay attention to the icons on the top left corner, I mean the fav icon and the browser tab and the refresh button. They will actually react to one of these buttons. Well you might have already guessed it, when I use the non spa way something will happen to these buttons. This means I will load another page. You can even see it in the address bar. Now let's get back and do it the spa way. You see I click the button, nothing happens to the icons, but the table content actually changed. Although I did not load another page. I just changed a little bit of the HTML. Now the changed appearance of a single page app usually is the result of a web service call. The user clicks a button, JavaScript is used to communicate with the server, the server sends back the result and then again JavaScript functions are used to change our page. Well in this little example uh, we did not call a web service. I did not load any data from a server but this also is a valid way for a spa. However of course we will cover the whole web service process later when we are actually going to build our web service. But for now, this is, in essence, the whole structure of a single page app.